five and six. Place the accent on accuracy as well as reasonable distance. I believe most everyone will agree that medium irons are the easiest to play of all clubs in the bag. The swing is no different for these clubs than any other irons. When using the five or six irons, remember you never have to extend yourself. All the distance you need is built right into the club. With the medium irons, as with all of the irons, Tommy is a bit of man. He hits down and through the ball and stays with a shot, with no conscious effort to finish his swing. The finish, of course, will take care of itself. Tommy plays the mid-iron slightly forward of center, just barely forward, with the stand slightly open for the six and almost square for the five iron. Again, let's watch Tommy's footwork. On the backswing, his left heel moves inward ever so slightly. He actually doesn't come off that left heel until after impact. As in the case of the woods, Tommy transfers his weight through the knees. He has excellent foot action. When I'm faced with a shot to a hard, fast green, I try to feather the ball onto the green. By that, I mean hitting a shot would send the ball toward the green on a higher trajectory than normal. A feathered ball appears to hover over the green, then drop dead, as we say, with very little roll, either backward or forward. There are two secrets to feathering an iron. The first is the club face itself. The shorter the club, the more grooves or scoring it will have. For example, this nine iron has more scoring than another three iron. And these grooves give the ball the necessary underspin that's needed to deaden the ball when it lands. The second secret to feathering is in the swing. Take the club back low and keep it low through the hip, letting the swing finish naturally. I should add this word of caution. In trying to keep the club face low through the hip, don't make the mistake of quitting the swing. Just try to keep the club low a wee bit longer after the hit and the finish will take care of itself. Now here's what happens when you keep the club low through the ball. The ball stays on the club face longer and spins all of the scoring in the club face. And as I mentioned, this scoring is what gives the ball what we would call underspin. I'm using a number six iron for these shots, but feathering a ball becomes easier with the shorter seven, eight, and nine irons which really make that ball play dead. Well, I've said this twice before, but with your permission, I'll 